Hey guys, this is Rob. Welcome to another Revit electrical video. In this lesson, we are going to cover work sets and how we use those for mainly visibility of our electrical models. So if you're interested, let's get into it. So here I am in the electrical Revit tutorial model that we've been working on for a while in my other lessons. And what we're going to cover today is how to deal with some visibility issues when you can't get done what you want to with categories, for example. What I mean is, you know, built into Revit, there are many categories of items that we can turn on and off to control the visibility in our design. For example, over here, uh, this power plan I mean, happens to have a view template so we control visibility through it. But if I go into my uh, visibility, if I go into my visibility graphics override for my model, you can see it's model categories and there are a number of categories, all architectural, there's electrical, there's mechanical. So I can control the visibility, you know, what I can see and what I can't see by clicking these on and off. Right now in my power plan, I've turned off lighting devices and lighting fixtures. I have mechanical things turned off. And so I can control certain things with this. Um, down here with electrical equipment, electrical fixtures, electrical equipment includes things like panel boards and switchboards, whereas electrical fixtures includes things like receptacles. So I have some visibility control, but many times you will find that you need more granular control, if you will. So let's say for example on my site plan i only want site electrical items showing up i don't want all of the interior receptacles and lights and everything showing up here well so far in the model we haven't dealt with work sets very much i did a few but i just turned off the entire work set one which is the out of the box work set so let me show you what I'm talking about work sets. Under the Collaborate tab, once you set up a model for work sharing by multiple users, then you can deal with work sets. So if I click the work sets button, here's the work sets dialog. And you can see I have some custom ones in here, but the rest came with the template. So when I started the electrical template, I got a shared levels and grids, which is automatic, and work set one. The rest of these I've added. And in fact, when I added site, I didn't follow my standard of putting an E in front of it. So we can change that, and I'll show you how we do that. But for now, you can see that I have a few other work sets, which I can turn on and off. But again, in this site plan, I just turned off the complete work set. If I go to the, my visibility graphics, and it, this one does not have a view template, so I control it up here. If I go to work sets tab up here, you can see I can control these work sets on or off. So on the side, I have it showing work set one, which is all the interior and, and even the architectural link right now is, is off. If I was to turn that back on, the global setting default is visible. Then I would see all of my interior devices as well as the architectural model. Now, in this case, on this site plan, happens to be done mainly with a CAD site plan. So it has the building outline as part of the CAD. So when I turn off the model, I still have a building outline. If I didn't have a building outline and I wanted to turn off the model, I could just trace the outline as a drafting line, a detail line, and it would show up. But it depends on how your site plan is set up. In this case, that worked for me. But let's say I want better control over my architectural link. I will often create a separate work set just for links. It can also affect performance. If I have a link for the structural plan and I don't need it in, in every view or and it's bogging down my model, I can turn it off at the work set level. So let's show how do we add a work set. If I click New, and I'm going to proceed this with an E, Links, and I'm going to call the architectural link arch. So the architectural link. And a major piece of this work set is whether it's visible in all views. You need to think about 
how many views do you want this work set visible in? If you want this visible in most of your views, then leave the visible in all views. However, if it's a work set that only appears, for example, my site work set only appears really in one view, I don't want it visible in all views by default because then I have to go into every view template or every other view and turn it off. You also want to think about if you're going to be moving objects to a new work set, you may mess up somebody else's work if you make that work set not visible. So anyway, you have need to think about that and with experience, you'll figure out which way to go. In this case, I want my architectural model visible in most, if not all views. So leave that checked. So there, now we've created eLinks Architect. Now when I do this, it'll say, do you want to make that the active work set? And that just means that anything that I create or draw from now on, that's a model pieces will be in that work set. So I'm going to say, no, I don't need that right now. But you can see what your active work set is down at the bottom. Here at the bottom, you can see that I have switched it to eLinks Arch. This down here at the bottom of your screen is the active work set. Anything that I create uh, model wise will be on that active work set. But I want to move my model into that work set. So I need to make sure my selections are set. I can select links and all that. And then I want to click on the architectural model. So here it is, the architectural model that we labeled. And it right now you can see it's in work set one. Well, I want to move it to links arch. So there, I'll apply that. Now that link is controllable with the work set rather than I could just go into Revit links and turn it off here as well. But when you get used to using work sets, it's best to use it there because you have one place to go to turn things on and off. So right here I have eLinks Arch. It's visible. I'm going to say hide it in this view. So there it is gone. You can't see it. All you see is the outline that's part of my CAD. Now what about the rest of this stuff? Well, I really want all this stuff inside to be on its own work set so that it can be turned off on my site plan. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I can create a new work set, but I'm just going to turn work set one because that's where all this stuff is right now. I'm going to turn work set one into my separate building work set for anything building related inside the building attached to the building. So I need to rename this. So if I click on work set, I can't get to rename. The way Revit has this is that you have to make this work set editable before I can change its name. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the pieces on the work set are editable, but it means the work set name or properties itself are editable. So I'm going to click editable and then I have to get out of here. Now when I get back into this dialog, now I click on work set and I get a rename option because I made it editable. So rename, I'm going to call this E and anything interior or on the building that's not site related, I'm just going to call it building. You can call it what you like. I like to call it building and that's good. And then I want to go back now. I want to make it non-editable, which means I'm releasing this work set for other people to work on as well. Work sets can be used to pin things or lock things down. If you're a BIM manager and you need to make sure people aren't messing with grids or things like that, you can, you can do this, but we mainly use it for the visibility aspects and performance. So anyway, let's say not editable and say, okay, okay, good. Now we have changed that work set one to the building. So if I click on this on the right as part of the properties now, you will see work set and it's an E building. So now I can turn off my E building work set up here to work sets, E building, which is typically on, which is right there. Now I've turned off that. So as you can see, work sets are a powerful way to control visibility, independent of the categories themselves. So I also want to go back and rename my site. So how do we do that again? We need to make it editable. Get out of it. Don't need to make it active. Go back into it. Site, rename, e site, and make it non-editable. Okay. So that renamed the site. So that works the other way around too. So in my first floor power plan, you can see I don't see any site work on this power plan because I was able to turn it off. In this view template, you can see that I have work sets 
site not visible. I left it not visible in here. So that is how I can control. And I also do this furthermore, and I've shown this in other videos for our apartment units. But if I go to second floor power, I have a call out in here for this studio. And for the enlarged view of the studio, I actually have receptacles and, and items shown. For example, down here, unit studio. In my enlarged studio plan, I've only done a few, but I've started to show some receptacles in this view. They happen to be on over here, the Workset E units. So I can leave units on for this enlarged unit view. But in my overall power plan, you will see here under power plan, go to my work sets, E units is not visible. It is still off. So again, that is a way to control what you want to see on and off. And I know that other trades, for example, our plumbing folks and mechanical folks will have different types of piping on different kinds of plans. And if everything's under one category of, of piping, they may need HVAC piping versus plumbing piping. And so they have work sets for that. So you can see the power in having all those work sets. Caution you from having too many work sets. You don't need to duplicate a work set if it's already controllable by the built-in categories or even sometimes phasing or design options. There's other ways to control things as well and even filters. So just make sure you don't go too far with it. We do the minimum we need for visibility and just don't go crazy. So uh, hopefully you get something out of that. And uh, if you do, please give me a like down below. I'd appreciate that. And until next time. Mm -hmm.